foul. One more try and that would be it, you feel. Mike Cooper charging. Some, now a bit of cramp as well. Yeah, no, if you watch him when he went into that tackle, he, he sort of... You could tell that he hurt himself. I'll tell you what, if Mike Cooper goes down, you know there's something wrong. Yeah, most definitely. It felt like it cracked, so I felt like I broke my leg. But I've done, I've done that before, so my first instinct, first reaction was to look down to make sure that it wasn't broken and then sort of tried to get up and realised I couldn't put too much weight through it. But straight away, as soon as, he, as soon as he made contact with the floor, it just seemed to buckle on him. And, you know, the physios and, the, and you know, Dr Chris Brooks and, and everybody else knew straight away, pretty much I could, I could tell it was, it was going to be a bad one. I had a couple of days, sort of, when it happened and then when I got the phone call from the physio when he reads out the list of, of things that have gone, gone wrong in, the, in that one tackle. And they were just being honest, you know, there was a chance that that was going to be in my season and more sort of worryingly for me was that was career ending. I have seen that type of injury end a player's career, especially when the player's at the older end of the age spectrum. That's probably something more rooted in the past as opposed to the present. Spoken about the importance of the, the medicine and the science and the rehabilitation that goes on. And I, I think with the advent of that, then if the player is determined, as Mike is, then it's much more likely that they, they will be able to recover from such an injury. What was sort of got me down a little bit was that's not the way that I wanted to go out. Once I saw the surgeon, you know, we came up with a, a strategy then and I sort of knew when I'd be looking to return and, and you sort of work backwards from there. So get the scan, which was disappointing, you know, with the results and then surgeon and then surgery and just break it down into, into small bits. Mike had a complex injury to his knee. He injured the medial ligament in his knee, so the knee on the inside. There's some damage to the cartilage, um, some damage to the surface of the knee inside. Well, the main damage being the, the injury to the, the key structure that keeps the knee stable. Once I sort of got my head around that and the, and the process, I've actually quite enjoyed focusing on myself. I've been playing pretty much week in, week out since I was about 19, 20, 21. So to be at 34 and to have a year just to get all the other pieces of your body right, diet, you know, your sleep, you know, getting whacked every weekend like everybody else is, it's um, quite enjoyed that, that process. Weirdly, with this type of injury, you start before you have your operation, so I had to wait seven or eight weeks before I had the op to let the uh, MCL, let that repair first before I had the ACL done. And it starts to feel really good. So you come out of the brace, you drive and you're walking around, you feel like you could, you could play and then you go in for surgery and, and have it all repaired. So the, hard, the hardest thing with rehab is, is the isolation, the time on your own, because you tend to be doing your re rehab or your weights when everybody else is doing the fun stuff. So when um, they're out on the field and you, you're very isolated. But on the flip side of it, as I said, you're, you're not focusing on games every week for yourself. You're focusing it on the team. And I've enjoyed the more leadership side of it and thinking about the group rather than just focusing on, on myself. I've actually really enjoyed that. And, you know, I think it's, it's pretty crucial that I, you know, stay a part of the leadership group and, and offer advice and get a sort of like a bird's eye perspective on things when you're not playing to maintain the player's interest and, and drive through the rehabilitation, a new environment is really beneficial. So again, through the England setup, I've had the privilege of going to St George's Park a lot. It is truly a, a wonderful facility. There's everything that you would need there. And the rehabilitation part of it is, is absolutely geared towards helping players accelerate their recovery from injury. And then when you're there, you realise that you're, you're not the only person who's going through this. There are others going through um, a similar process. I'm a huge believer in using a facility of that quality. I think it's something which again really helps the player and supports that mental recovery and emotional recovery in accelerating and getting back the, the, the player to return to, to play. The club have been great, really, just to mix things up for me, giving me time off, and I get, I get to come to you know St George's Park and, and be a, be a part of the world's best facilities. So it's the Alter G treadmill uh, running, which sort of re removes a lot of your body weight. Uh, so it's the first time that I've that I've run since Good Friday, you know, which, which feels good. And then it's just a one-to-one -one prehab, rehabilitation, and, and low body weights 
uh, with the physios here, which again, you know, due to the demands of the players, you know, you, you can't get that quality time with a physio for, for a long period um, back at your club. So I've just loved it being here. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing facility. I'm very, very lucky I can come here. Mike's a, a very calm person. He's been around the game a long time. Accidents happen. There may be a mistimed tackle. There may be somebody's got their feet in the wrong position or whatever it is and their body alignment wrong. And that, unfortunately, on occasion can result in a player having a serious injury. There's no animosity towards Morgan whatsoever. It is what it is. I've, I've been in many tackles where people got hurt. You know, it, 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 it's part of the game. And, you know, he got, he got suspended. That, that's just a wasted energy for me to, to think about that. And I know he's not that type of person. You know, I get along with him. We play for England together and, you know, class him as a friend. So in the same situation, I, I might do the same thing. This is rugby league. We're tough lads, we get on with it. We crack on and you get whacked, you get up, you come back again. That's the way it is. I you know the Wigan supporters are, you know, have been some of the some of the best with the messages and um, when I see people like around the stadium and and that's the bit that you miss the most when you when you're not playing is hearing the crowd and you know when you when you stood there watching you know cheering the lads on you you are a fan and literally everyone that I spoke to just you know was wish me well and, and hope to see me back playing with a smile on my face so you know you, you can't ask for much more than that. So I've had the great privilege of looking after players in the game for. A long time and during that time of I've, I've come across some guys who've shown real diligence around how they get over an injury he's never really suffered much injury through his career but he has learned that diligence he's seen that and so the way that he's gone about his rehabilitation the dedication that he's shown right from minute one and that gives us the confidence that we know he'll be back to be able to play at the, the highest level next season. The sign of the year was, uh, we, we spoke about it you know, a while ago. Very, very grateful to, to Matty and Rads to, you know, to give me another year. And you know, I, was feel, I was feeling good pre-injury and uh, you know, I want to come back on my terms. I actually think having a year out you know, will do me a hell of a lot of good physically for the rest of my body. So you know, coming to places like St George's Park and, and getting through this type of work and, and other places that we'll probably go to over this, this next sort of six month journey really, it's really it helps to get the best version of me back, you know, but due to like England internationals and things, you're not, you don't really get much of a pre-season, etc. and mid-season test matches, so to have this time just to let your body settle down and, and get everywhere else really strong, I'm, I'm actually really excited to see, you know, what it'll be like when I come back and, you know, when I want to go out on my terms, and when I say so, not when, not when an injury does, so, you know, really looking forward to uh, knuckling down the next six months and getting back in, in good shape.